this case. So we just want the we said for our titles, let us just do the in a unique way. So string find. Let us just basically start with the string find function in this case. So the string find function is used to search for a substring. Maybe you can write. It's used to search for a sub for a substring. It returns then the index of the first occurrence of the substring in a string. So it maybe you can write it returns the the index of the first There is a reason as to why we are saying this in this case of the specified substring. In a string that has maybe been provided. So the first parameter in this case, the first parameter passed to the function is the string where the search is performed. Then the second parameter determines the target substring and the third parameter which is now optional in this case determines the position of at which the search starts so is that really important to write here in a unique way so the first so first parameter so the first parameter passed uh, in this string fun function now the first parameter fa passed in this case in this case to the function is a string where the search is performed so no, string it is where the string is where in this case is where the search starts is where the search is now the name of the string is where the search is where the search is done or performed whichever the case you want to do then the second parameter to be real quick determines the target the second parameter determines determines now the target the target the target uh, substring in this case then the third one which is now the optional one then the third one can because now it is optional option the optional one can in this case determine the position at, at uh, which the search starts in this case so let us find uh, the position of substring maybe maybe just for illustration purposes let us just find the position of substring 5 in the meta quotes in the programming in mql5 for meta quotes language editor string that we had already defined at the start of this section so let us just go over here let us just define this one. wow it is really a long lesson okay but an important one so maybe let us do the string that uh, our string definition is programming programming in mql5 for meta trader 5 in this case so using this string let us now find 
the position of that so let us now try to get the position of the the character uh, the character 5 in this case so the position so let us define the position now as an integer int position the position now is equals to string find find okay find then you can see the one the the three parameters that we and already defined so the string value where we want to find so where we want to find is now the string then the string that we want to find now to be specific what what do we really want to find that substring that we want to find that is why they call it a constant string match string in this case so what do we want to find in this string that we have already passed here as parameter number one to parameter number two so what we want to find is now five well, five five is really an integer no it is a string so we just want to do that five in now a string manner then the third one is the starting position where do you want to start your search from in this case we said that the starting position for this parameter number three is a is an optional one where if you leave it out it will be set by default to zero so we can either we can either choose to put zero if you do not want or we just leave it as a blank so in this case let us just go with the zero so after we find the string let us now define the output for this one so so the output maybe yeah of the result so we just want to print the string so we just want to put, to print the not the string we want to print the position print the position that manner then bra, bra, bra. okay what did we do wrong in this case okay 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 in this case eh? <laughs> let, let us use uh, convert this one from integer to string so integer to string like that one and see if this one works it doesn't some string find some operand expected why is it telling us telling us that some operand is expectant because i do not understand that language right now so string find string and then the number then basically this one should be right should be okay so what did we do wrong position wow position is undeclared no 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 please no please position is declared over here let me just try it is not being availed it is not being availed in this case so we just need to fix something on the position on this integer of ours where we get the position so what do we do let me look position an unexpected token okay let us do away with that one and see if it works it doesn't steal so string number five could could you be the reason apparently no you are fine so where did we go wrong so to do this eh? oh wow 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 this is a catastrophic you know thing 
So we just have to put a semicolon over there and all our, all our problems are solved. Wow. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. So everything now is okay. So we just need to print this one and see if we find our string. The position where we find our string. So we find our string at position number 18. It is where the first number 5 is found. So let me just go back and maybe try to count from here. So this one is there. We'll just shift this one for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And in this case, it is not at number 18, but number 19 because the programming, the computer starts searching for this substring is this substring called five from zero so we are just supposed to start to start from position number zero i mean basically the computer starts from zero and not from one so if we start counting we start from zero then one two three four five six seven all the way up to 18 and you'll find out that our first substring is found at position number 18 in this case so the expected results it just works so you can just do this one again for maybe the first maybe maybe let us do this one for p p in this case and see that p is now in the position number zero so the computer the program or the system would print to us that the substring P is, is found at position number zero in this case. So I hope that one is now clear to, to you <laughs> in this case. So let me just set it to default one. So I hope that one was helpful. So let us now move on to the next to the next uh, subtopic of uh, the string substring. So I just have to comment this one out since we are done with it. and uh, activate that one to that extent that so basically that is now okay